Yo, what's going on? Welcome to Five Things Deep, lad. <laughs> it's the morning. Listen, you already know. Yesterday, we done what we had to do in it. We did what we had to do. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We did what we had to do, though. Listen, people. And I'm telling you right now, I am gassed. This is Five Things Deep. And I'm telling you now, we're going to break down Chelsea in it. Because Chelsea did rubbish rubbish don't look at us like we're the same size we've never been the same size again pride of london bro that's what you're not saying you are i'm not seeing no pride in your performances right now them performances make me sick i wanted i wanted i wanted poch i wanted mopo i did i wanted mopo my manager looked at him. He looked him in the eye. He said, big man. <laughs> oh, my God. You're not on my level. Move. Poch, move. One billion spent. Let's say that again. One billion. Bro, one, hmm, one billy. Tell me how that makes sense. They spent mad money. Man United are still getting in trouble for spending 400 million. We're still getting, we're still getting questions asked. These lot have built so many teams in this in the in the nucleus, and this is what they're doing. Anyway, listen, this is a five thing deep. We're gonna get into it. First thing deep. Let's talk about my manager, Eric Ten Hag. The bald assassin, bruv. Have you played that game, Hitman? That's him, fam. With a beard. Look what he's doing right now. He said, Listen, you lot Gandalf. Gandalf the Grey, you shall not pass. No media. You're not coming in. Luckus, out. Carve, Solical, Ineos. The takeover proceedings. He probably just got rid of Carve, not for lies, but just for talking slow. Carve just takes too long to get to the point. He's out. Rob Dawson, like Rob actually, but big man, out. Sling your rook. He, listen. Ten Hag was moving like he's in EastEnders. You know when Peggy had the pub? Your bard. That's what he... Bro, love it. This is what I want to see. He took on the... He took them on. The mighty media. And let's have it right. He's won. People are saying Luckhurst is writing tweets with the Arthur Fist emoji, bro. Just... <laughs> and I say, hey! <laughs> Good! Stop telling lies. You can't do this. So he done that, and that was a big call. And this is why I'm going to, like, first thing deep, you have to talk about the manager. Has to start with him because people talking crisis, a lot of pressure on him, and you're worried. Who's these players? 50% of the squad went out. The Newcastle performance, where you looked and said, oh, like, even me, I was like, raw, I don't even know if these men are playing for him because what the hell was that? Ten Hag said, nah, I know this team. Even when they wanted to draw him out, you know they've been trying to draw him out. You talk about man management, yeah? They've been trying to draw out this manager about Rashford, about Martial. They said, what do you think about Rashford's performance, this, that, and the other? He said, what I think about Rashford, I'll tell him myself. That's what he said in the press. I said, I'll speak to him myself. I'm not going to say it to you lot. Because guess what? If he said something to them lot, they would have said, see, that's the problem with Ten Hag. Management, man management, he came out. He's criticizing players. and He doesn't do that. That's not what his thing is. Anyway, he says he's going to talk to Rashid. Clearly does, because Rashid gets dropped. Best decision. We're playing Anthony. A re, like, a, a Anthony that is trying to, I want to say rejuvenated, but feeling better. Garnacho. The guy made some big changes, big decisions. Even when you take out Lindelof and say you're not sure, that's you. Regulon, I swear he done an interview, yeah? And I swear my manager calls Regulon, Regulion, like me. I swear I heard him do it. I was listening. I said, wait a minute. Did I hear Regulion? I know. Are we? Is this what we're doing? Listen, <laughs> take him serious. Ten Hag, well done. Ten Hag, in the eye of the storm. He said, I'm sticking to what I'm trying to do. That's the place that I want to play. You lot talk about how, what, what's the philosophy? Win the ball back, high out the pitch. Pressing, high pressing game. Turnovers, score. That's what we want to do. That's the Man United we want to be. We haven't been that Man United, but you can see. Anyway, really beautiful moment. Ten Hag, first in deep. Well done. You took on the media and won. Took on Chelsea and won. Congratulations to you, bro. This The night is yours. The night is yours. And even in the morning, still, 24 hours. You can enjoy it. Second thing, deep. 
I'm going to take the words from Lil Yo-Yo. Mick Phenomenal. What do you call it? Scott Naldo. The guy is moving. I don't want to say Prime Inzaghi, but bro, he's a fox in the box. <laughs> he's a fox in the box. The guy's, listen, the guy's out of hand. He's out of hand. Right now, what are we talking about? I think in, in 34 games or something stupid, all competitions, the guy's on like 15 or 16 goals. This is a mad return. These are, these are strikers' numbers. These are kind of numbers that Weghorst would dream about. Weghorst, he, he couldn't even imagine. I'm telling you right now, yeah, Scott McTominay, I don't know if we just stumbled on, on something amazing and great, yeah, but is it time, yeah, to move Scott McTominay's position? Is it time to consider him as, like, as a striker? <laughs> like, because in some of the, it, look, in some games, yeah, like, right now, he's he's trying to get the ball off Hoyland. That they're both attacking. Even in the header, both goals, they're both attacking. Scott, hmm, Scott Phenomenal. Mick Phenomenal. Scott Naldo. I, listen, and I wanted him, this is the crazy thing about football. Last week, if you ask me, one of them dropped. I want a midfield. I want a different midfield. And Scott had to go. There's moments when you talk about hiding and this, that, and the other. It's just not his game. Doesn't want to receive. Scott wants to shoot. He wants to shoot on sight. My manager said, listen, he's got a, he can sniff it out. He's got a smell for it. He just smells it. He knows. He knows. Hey, quick feet in the box. Goal. We, we have to now start to take him very serious. We have to take him very serious. Uh, West Ham, you made a mistake. You made a big mistake, West Ham. That was a sign you need to bring in because I'm telling you now, look what he's doing. He would have been doing that for you lot. But hey, he's still with us. Man United through and through. When my manager hugged him at the end of the game, I said, everyone hugs McTominay. Everyone hugs Scott. Something's got to be going on. He's he, There's something that he's doing. And then they all can see. So again, you know what, McTominay, big up to you. Second thing deep. Third thing deep. If you're talking about arcs, I'm an actor. If you're talking about redemption, there's no greater redemption. This is literally a redemption song, Bob Marley, Harry Maguire. Oh, and what you say, do, 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 do. These songs of Maguire is all I ever had. <laughs> it's Harry song, do, 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 do. <laughs> What? Harry Maguire. What are we watching? What are we watching at OT right now? This guy is keeping Varan, Varan, the Rolls Royce, the Wraith, the Phantom on the bench. And guess what, people? As much as I want to see Varan, I'm not, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Harry Maguire tried to transform into Dan James. He's on the right hand side. Bombing down the wing. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Harry Maguire said, listen, give me the ball, guys. When on the first goal, Harry's the furthest person forward. Desire. Passion. Fight. Determination. All of these positive superlatives you want to use is to breaking down what Maguire's doing. Big blocks. Big clearances, super interceptions. It's mad. I never knew this day was coming. We're in December 2023. Harry Maguire's balling. Player of the month. What are we talking about right now, people? It's got to that part. It's got to that part. Like, I need to have even... Are you telling me the truth right now? Yes, I am, Uncle. Harry Maguire is balling. Okay. <laughs> Even people that want to hate, they're looking at Harry Maguire's performance and they're saying to themselves, I can't do it. You can. can't. You can't do it. You can't. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> and they can't hate. Obviously, the true haters <laughs> are definitely there. You can. But you're, if you're hating, it's a gender. If you're hating on Harry Maguire right now, it's a gender. I heard the, I've heard the cries. I've heard people say, listen, we haven't played anyone good, man. Don't fool with it. 
A man's been here for five years, man. Bro, move. Move, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think that's that's third thing deep. But Harry Maguire, big up yourself, big up your chest, bro. Number four, fourth thing deep. I'm Rabizi, fam. I'm Rabiznis. I'm gonna stop it, bro. I'm controlling midfield now. I'm Raboss. And he's bossing midfields everywhere, bro. He said, I was injured. I had no preseason. I was desperate to play for the club. He loves the club. He was waiting. We had to sort out the Klana payments. Klana came late. His game came later. It is what it is. It is what it is, people. Look now. Look. And this is he's just starting to simmer. Again, he's in the Dutch pop. He's in the Dutchy pop. Pass the Dutchy bandit. He's in the pot, bro. Simmering. You don't even know what kind of soup we're trying to make right now. I'm telling you now, in that midfield, he was in there with players that are worth 100 and something million. Over 200 million in that midfield. He said, what? Enzo, come here. <laughs> Casado. I said, come here. He said, if you don't just, you don't, don't just behave yourselves. He grabbed them both. He said, listen, I do this thing. This is me now. My midfield, what? What are you look on? I'm telling you, it's crazy. I'm so proud of this guy because I've been waiting for this performance. This is the guy I wanted to start saying ridiculous and reckless things. I did, and, I, and Amrabat didn't make it easy for me because the start was so poor. Confidence is coming. He will get better. He will be playing week in, week out. We will see, because even in that Man City game, I knew that he was better. When we took him out, the game changed a bit, but he didn't have the fitness. They said that the World Cup thing was not real. Flex, we've got to put you up on charges. People are calling him out. Micah, you're up on charges. You're Listen. Let's go. Let's go. I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Plays forward. He's winning his jewels. Pass completion. 100%. Even at what I, I, I saw... Um, where is it? Statman Dave. You know, let me put some respect on Statman Dave because he went, he, he, he spoke about this yesterday. And I thought, you know what? Let's actually bring it to the, let's bring it to the people. Man, that's Sofian. <laughs> like Sofian. Uh, where is it? A uh, game by numbers. Where's Statman Dave? Oh, man. I, look at me struggling to find it, bro. KG a better than this. I should have had it ready still. I should. Here we go. Sofian Amrabat. 11 ball recoveries. No other player completed. Um, more than any other player. 100% of his tackles. Let's go. That's the energy that we're talking about. You lot, we're not joking anymore. <laughs> well, I'm, I, let me calm down. I'm calming down, but I'm just excited about Sofian Amrabat, innit? There you go. 61 touches. 45 out of 49 passes completed. 11 ball, recover, 11 ball recoveries. 5 out of 7 um, ground jewels. There you go. 2 triples completed. 1 key pass. I say no more. I rest my case. Last person that we need to talk about. Alejandro. Alejandro Ganacho. Alejandro? Ali? <laughs> Listen. Kid is it's the left hand side it's yours. It's yours. We were worried about you if you could start. Last we're saying, can he start games? Is he just a guy that's off the bench? He said, What me off the bench? I'm meant to be the number seven at this club. When I play, they sing Viva Ganacho. Do you know how mad that is? I, I I scored a bicycle. I had the audacity to try and do it again. Mm. It's a different level of audacity to score one of the goals of a season and say, you know what? Let's just see if I can do it again. Do you know who you are? And now it's talking about delivery. Yes, he should have scored. Really wish he scored. It's that little, it's the pass though. It's the cross, the delicate cross into the box. McTominay said, what's that? No, Will, move. <laughs> he hits the four. Cole was looking for, what do you call it? He's looking for, what's that thing called? He's looking for VAR. VAR said, I didn't see anything. No infractions. VAR tried to check as well. 
Nah, I said, <laughs> no, Will. <laughs> Not today, fam. I love it. Well done, Kenacho. You did your thing. Very proud of the team. We move in it. Next game, Bournemouth. Can we get a result? I hope so. And I think we should. The games after that is where it gets very more, more interesting. But I'm telling you, Man United fans, let's enjoy these moments. Anyway, listen, this has been this has been the five things, Steve. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Support me. Support the channel. Yeah, man, we're moving, in it? Share the thing. Whatever you want to do in it, just support the thing. Stay blessed. I'm out. Come on. Score makes all that age. Drop a bomb, 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 bomb. Back, back, back with a vengeance. KG's back with an entrance. Big up to those in attendance. Ooh, look at that. Reds come together like Tetris. No rules, this one's reckless. KG, this one's crazy. You're too lucky. Bro, none can compare with the KG done. Better take over when he drops that. Bon, bon, Going on bon. reckless, trust it's on. It's that time when he drops that. Bon, bon. I said drop a bomb, Dad. <laughs>